This video demonstrates the implantation of the Artisan aphakic lens. In this case, we're going to make a temporal incision, uh, or one may make the incision over the steep axis. In this case, this is a 300 micron groove, 6 millimeter in length, placed temporally at the limbal area, held holding the eye here by the conjunctiva. Uh, two 1 millimeter incisions are made here. You can see 45 degrees away from the main incision. And then we'll inject some lidocaine into the anterior chamber, followed by a dispersive and a cohesive viscoelastic. In some cases, vitrectomy is not required. In some cases, an anterior vitrectomy may be required with irrigation. In this case, we're simply going to place the cutter here through the pupil uh, and just uh, assess for any vitreous injecting a little bit of BSS to create some turbulence and doing a very limited here uh, vitrectomy, although really this is just a matter to be on the safe side. This patient really didn't have any vitreous here anteriorly. However, it is important to remove any vitreous here prior to proceeding. We're going to now make that temporal incision, at least initially, at 3 millimeters of the diamond keratome and direct some triencimalone again to visualize any vitreous. So you can see there really is no vitreous present here in the anterior chamber in the retropupillary space. And then we'll inject some myocol here, sweeping the pupil to bring the pupil down to facilitate the implantation and prevent vitreous prolapse. At this point, the incisions can be further opened up, as you see here, with the diamond keratome. We're going to enlarge this incision here. Again, remember, a 3 micron groove enlarging it to 6 millimeters in length. Here the arsenal lens is being placed with a curved tire, partially the incision, and then a Sinsky hook is used to place it entirely in the anterior chamber, and now we have it sitting in the anterior chamber waiting for enclavation. Prior to then, and doing the enclavation, however, it is helpful to suture that wound, at least temporarily. Here we're using a 10 nylon suture here, placed in an overlapping uh, technique, uh, using essentially three bites, two on either side at either end of the incision, and one down the middle. And we find this provides a very nice astigmatically neutral uh, suture closure. This is a temporary tie though, a triple throw initially, and then we'll create a loop of suture here with a reverse throw uh, after we cinch the, cinch the uh, tie here again, and this is simply just to close that incision at least temporarily. We'll then use a pair of micro tires in our left hand, non-dominant hand in this case, and a micro forcep or iris forceps in the right hand. This is a more sharp tip, serrated tip. The micro tire holds the, um, the optic here in place, and the uh, micro grasper in the right hand will basically uh, enclavate the iris. Notice the lens is being placed in a position which you feel is ideal for enclavation centered on the pupil at the horizontal uh, margin. And we will then grasp the iris here at the intended enclavation site and pull it up through those haptics. You notice that the jaws of the micro forceps actually was used to facilitate the, uh, the splaying open of the haptics to bring the iris through. Once we have the nasal uh, haptics enclavated, we will then go through the temporal incision, again helps us have the sutures in there with viscoelastic in the AC to prevent the chamber from shallowing, grab the iris at the intended site of enclavation, ideally, ideally, pulling it up again, splaying open these haptics and pulling the iris through. As much as possible, it helps to uh, put position these, uh, these haptics in the area of the final intended implantation site, although sometimes that may not be exactly on uh, position, and here in this case we can use um, the Sinsky hook for counter-traction as we pull the iris to the center uh, to move the um, lens here along a bit nasally to center that lens and avoid pupil ovalization. And uh, we can also do the same thing on the temporal side again, either along the pupil as we see here, basically pulling the pupil to the, the iris to the center toward the pupil and pushing the lens here, in this case a bit temporal, centering that lens ideally. And then we can essentially remove some of the viscoelastic injecting some BSS here prior to the final closure. We are not often able to remove all the viscoelastic, however, we like to remove as much as we can near the incision to test and assess for a watertight seal, and we will use some post-operative acetazolamide as necessary. We will then cinch the knot again, checking for any leaks and checking the suture tension uh, to place it in a fairly asymmetrically neutral tension, and then lock that suture here with, a, with single throws in either direction, cut the suture, and then rotate it into the cornea here, and if necessary, we can also suture those two other uh, side ports if, as needed. Further viscoelastic is removed and we hydrate the side incisions and we've now completed the implantation of the aphakic artisan lens.